I am joined now by Sharon Glatzer, and this is quite a meeting for you because in addition to delivering the MRS Communications Lecture, you've also been named an MRS Fellow, so congratulations on both. Thank you very much, it's very exciting. So let's talk about the main theme of your lecture. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that? The main theme of the lecture is how can we design the building blocks of, of tomorrow that can allow us to make materials with properties that we can't even imagine today. So I'm talking about a particular relatively new class of nanomaterials that combines the best of nanoparticle self-assembly and liquid crystal self-assembly like we have in, in liquid crystal displays with with, uh, with polymers and brings it all together into these compound building blocks that can self-assemble into all kinds of interesting structures. It is so interesting. What are the types of applications in your work? Well, the sky is the limit, really, um, because imagine that uh, you had a toolbox full of all these different kinds of materials, whether they're metals or ceramics or plastics, and you could pick and choose the materials and the properties, and you could put them together into whatever you want. Then you could design for different sorts of applications. You could design for battery materials or energy storage materials or a cloaking type materials that change the way that, that things look. It's, it's really a kind of uh, application agnostic technology. And so, tell me about the role of computers in your work. So, because there's so much freedom in the way that you can choose the components that are making up these new materials, um, it's just, it would take forever to experimentally in the laboratory try each and everything. So that's where computers are so important because um, we can make um, computer models of these, of these materials and then figure out what works, what doesn't, where some exciting new um, building blocks or properties might be found. Well, I know people are going to be excited to learn more, so where can everyone find your article? It's freely available right on the MRS website. Okay, fantastic. Sharon Glotzer, thank you so much. Thank you.